Good morning, beauties. So it's been a while since I wore my really short chaitel, and this is my one that I wore on my cruise. <laughs> There's Sarah in the background. <laughs> anyway, yeah, I have a lot. So I have a busy day ahead um, to plan for Yom Kippur, and so I figured I'd go short just so that it's like light and fluffy. <laughs> oh, what do you think of my earrings? They're a little long, but I don't know. What do you guys think of them? So Dehan, I keep seeing people posting that it's National Coffee Day today. I don't exactly know what that means. I know you can get free coffee somewhere. I don't Are know we where. Nationalists? I think we're national coffeeists. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's do it. So now I just saw something posted about it being World Coffee Day. World Coffee Day? Yeah. Oh, the whole world is having coffee? <laughs> I guess. As opposed to other days? No? <laughs> Thank God it's not tomorrow, because tomorrow nobody would be having it's it. It's a weird day. The whole world is drinking coffee today. <laughs> So people don't have coffee every day? Is that is that what's going on here? I don't Maybe really understand. Whole, every day they have three coffees and today just one. <laughs> or because it's national or world coffee day, you have to have it every like hour. Yeah. Could you imagine how no. we'd be worried? from me if you did that. <laughs> Dan, hmm? you're totally matchy matchy today with like your kippa and the glasses and your salt and pepper hair and your I had, hoodie. I, I found these glasses and the kippa, so I liked it, so I dyed my hair to match it. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, right, because like you're so young and really your hair would have been like so if light you, brown, right? So, like so if, if you were me now, you'd probably be wearing gray lipstick. Right? <laughs> yeah, and a gray or, wig. Or, or black and gray. <laughs> Oy Oy. So I was wearing my other glasses in the morning. This guy's nuts. And I realized that I needed my pink ones because it just works with my beads. See these cool braids? Yeah. And my lipstick. So I went home and changed. So what's up, Dehan? Getting ready for the holiest of holy days of the year. Yeah, you know, funny thing Judgment is, I said the other day. day that it was the holiest day, and somebody sent me a message. I think Purim's the holiest day. So, like, is she serious? In in in. <laughs> so I figured there was something behind that. I just didn't know what no, it was. The, there's something about Purim. It's the holiest day because the Xera was was an old, right? Right. So Kippurim, it's like Purim. It, Purim is so holy that Kippurim, it's like Purim. Oh, look at that. See, you but that's like a every midrash. Day. The fact is. Is Yom Kippur. It's the holiest day of the year, period. Anyways, the point is that it's the day where we are being judged for all that we've done or didn't do all year. And so we're, we're coming in front of Hashem and asking Him for forgiveness for what we've done. So imagine two siblings, two brothers or sisters had a fight, got into a fight and it turned out to be a very bad fight and they really, really caused their parents Ogmas Nefesh. They really caused their parents to feel really one of them will come to their parents and say, you know, mommy, uh, I know I fought with my sister so badly and um, I know it bothered you, so I want to ask you for forgiveness. The first question that the mother will ask, did you forgive your sister? Did your sister forgive you? For, for forgiveness, you have to forgive each other. Right. This is our father, God. Before we're asking him, before we have the audacity, the, 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 the guts to come to him and say, please forgive me, Hashem, for what I've done, we have to forgive each other. That's for sure. We have today is a day that we need to let go. Don't hold a grudge. Yeah. Somebody hurt you, let it go. You're doing yourself a, a bigger favor than you're doing them. That's for sure. Because you're cleaning up. He's a smoker and he quit smoking, or you know, uh, when you diet, when you cleanse your body, you feel great. Tomorrow, tonight, and tomorrow, you're cleansing your neshama, your 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 soul, and that will feel the best if it's actually clean. And by for and by forgiving each other, this is how you cleanse. That's pretty cool. You feel Dan. great. You're so about smart. Doing it. You need to forgive and forget. If you hurt someone, give him a call. Send him a text. Do it now. Yes, now it's you hurt so you. Like you're starting a clean slate. And, and if somebody hurt you, you could be even greater than them by sending them a message before they're asking you for forgiveness and saying, by the way, I forgive you. That ah, gives Hashem the best cool. nachas in the world. Don't wait for them to ask for forgiveness. Um, whatever happened, happened. Life is too short to waste, to spend some of the days of your life with sadness. Anything that you're missing out on is not coming back. Be besimcha, do choose at this point of the day. We would like to wish all of you an easy and meaningful fast. 
have an amazing year. All of your dreams should come true this year. Okay. Live your dreams, don't dream. Chem Aleinu!